Welcome to the Lerma Museum and to Telecom TV's annual Super Panel, sponsored as always by Hewlett Packard Enterprise and Intel. What is cloud native to us? And more importantly, what is the cloud native telco? For me, it's a hybrid world that we're going to have to manage for quite a long time. So as far as our customers are concerned, I think what they're looking for is something that looks and feels like a service they buy from an AWS or an Azure. It's a fundamental change in the telco system stack that enables us to develop products for our customers that are far more agile and flexible with different commercial models than ever before. For us, what we want is to have a standardized solution in order to keep this optimization of the cost and the operations to provide you new services, is to have a multi-vendor ecosystem, and for this we did a standardized solution and also interconnection with other operators in order to have a, a solution that can rely on scalability in the solutions. I think it is a much heavier lift than people imagine and who, who, who build applications for the cloud to understand that those um, same applications have to work in networks and network architectures are very different than cloud architectures. But if there are certain functions that do need the agility, that you do need to transform into cloud native in order to deliver the services agility or the business impact, then you will see the ecosystem and you will see the vendors actually changing their architecture to accommodate those business needs. If I talk to our customers, multinational corporations, talk to analysts like Gartner, then they'll, they'll say the same thing. There are no global deployments of service chain VNFs at scale anywhere. The rise of industrial IoT as a use case for key customers in the manufacturing, mining, oil and gas sectors, which I think is really going to drive forward the UCP adoption. I disagree that there aren't large-scale deployments of service chains at scale, but that could be a conversation for another day. But I do believe, or have a point of view, that with mobile edge computing, cloud native is the way to start. The business and the technology need are driving the innovation towards, uh, towards cloud native. And can be done today, yeah? because on Mac we have very good uh, example of things that can be deployed now that are exactly in this direction. The largest developer community is the cloud developers and they understand cloud native, they understand microservices, they understand you know, the programming paradigms that they've been exposed to in the cloud. 5G and Edge can thrive if we open up to that developer community. Partners are not the traditional partners that we might have, all, all of us might have, I'd like to find a better word than been in bed with, mm. but been in bed with in the past. <laughs> <laughs> the new world is going to be completely different. So the real challenge for the, for the industry is to understand if we want to continue to do the same things with the same people in the same way, and if this happens, then probably it will be the end of this industry. So you're going to see unique vertical ecosystems across you know, a number of these verticals. The retail one is going to be completely different from industrial. It's going to be completely different from healthcare and smart cities and so forth. It's true that the technology is so powerful. We can do so many things that we have to define the good usage behind. So if a customer is pay now moving away from connection and rental to purely paying on an as-you-go basis, then that's how I want to play my suppliers and my, my vendor partners too. So we're looking for, for vendor partners that will actually work on the new commercial model, as well as being agile and flexible. We share this, uh, this view. We, we believe that uh, <clears throat> a lot of the technology is going to be more and more perceived as a service by whoever is using, uh, using that. To become cloud native, you do need the availability of you know, engineers or expertise, technology. You need, you know, we've been making contributions into open source, Kubernetes, Maltese and others. You do need companies that downstream that and commercialize it. If you wait too long and, and until everything is cloud native, then that company may be out of business because some other disruptor will have come in and taken over operations uh, with some other solution that wasn't available. Please thank our panelists for the time this evening.